So today, I'll be showing you how to back up your iPhone to iCloud. Now, every Apple ID or every Apple account has five gigs of free storage. As soon as you sign up, you get five gigs of free cloud storage. And that's what you call iCloud. So if you go to settings on your iPhone and then tap on your name at the top there, that opens your Apple ID information. And you can go into iCloud and see how much storage space you have. Now, of course, you can purchase extra storage space like I have. As you can see, I have 50 gigs of storage. That's because I upgraded my iCloud storage plan. I'm no longer using the free plan. I'm using the 50 gig plan, which I'm paying for. So if you tap here, you can actually see the different plans. So I'm currently on this plan. You also have the option to go for 200 gigs or even two terabytes, which will cost you just $10 a month. Anyway, so it's important to go here because you need to see how much storage space you have to be able to tell if your iPhone will be able to back up all your data. Now, judging from previous backups, you can see how much space is occupied by previous backups. And the good thing with iPhones is recent backups overwrite older backups. So you never have multiple copies of backups. You only have one copy of a backup on iCloud. So currently, as you can see, I have an amount of space occupied by my last backup. And when I perform a new backup today, it's going to overwrite this old backup. And of course, I also have backups from other different iPhones I've had before. Anyway, so let's go back and back and back again and back to the home screen. So once you verify that you have enough storage space and also you have enough charge on your battery and also you're connected to Wi-Fi, unless of course you want to use mobile data, which is not recommended, but you can use it if you want to. So connected to Wi-Fi, I have charge and I have space. So to back up your iPhone to iCloud, simply go to settings and then again, go to your Apple ID by tapping on your name up there and then go to iCloud and then go to iCloud Backup and then turn on iCloud Backup if it's turned off and then you can hit Backup Now. So if you leave this on, your iPhone will automatically perform backups periodically and it's going to be doing this when you're plugged in, when you have your phone locked, when you're not using it. Mostly at night is when your iPhone will make those automatic backups. But if you want to backup right now, simply tap on Backup Now and the iPhone will start calculating the estimated time remaining. Of course, depending on all the amount of data you have on your iPhone. Now, backing up your iPhone to iCloud is advantageous because Apple owns the iPhone, Apple owns iCloud, so they're able to back up literally everything on your iPhone. So later, when you change your iPhone or when you get a new iPhone, or maybe you want to set up a new iPhone, you can simply restore an iPhone from an iCloud backup. Anyway, all you need to do now is sit back and wait. And if you're low on battery, then it might be a good idea to plug in your phone to charge. So as you can see, we have the estimated time remaining. And all you have to do now is sit back and wait for the backup to complete. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. And good luck. Thank <laughs> you.